Christmas. No, this is more like it. I've always been a big fan of the festive season, as it's a time for happiness, family, capitalism, my racist uncle ruining the Christmas party, giving presents, and most importantly of all, celebrating the birth of Christ. Now, I don't know about you, but I am definitely getting everything I asked for off Santa this year. My behavior has been exceptional lately, and I haven't received any restraining orders since my live old video. Oh, and before you ask about my girlfriend, I'm allowing her to celebrate Christmas this year, so I think I've booked my spot on the nice list. All I'm asking for this year is a proper Link's Africa set, unlike the garbage that Sophie gave me last year, Crazy Frog Racer for the PS2, and a Minecraft game guide. That fat bastard Santa Claus didn't give me the Minecraft book I asked for last year, or the year before that, but hopefully third time's the charm. And I've got a brand new stocking, just in case Santa thinks I deserve some extra presents this year. Christmas celebrations are in full swing around the globe, but I still feel like there's one thing missing that I need to really complete the Christmas experience. You're not the TV license guy, right? No, I have a package here for PKMX. Ah, thank you. Uh, here, uh, happy Christmas. Oh, I'm gonna buy so many V-Bucks with this. I hope he spends that money wisely. Anyways, let's see what he brought for me. Looks like Christmas has officially started. Now, before you start judging me, I am not too old for Christmas annuals aimed at primary school children. I'm looking forward to some colouring and jokes and learning about the Irish War of Independence. Sonus Shimsa Su Grand Spree, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and the greatest book series to ever come out of this country. Folan's Christmas annuals have been a defining element of the Irish Christmas experience for longer than you may think. The first issues were released in 1970. These things are older than my dad. Receiving one of these annuals in school every Christmas was always an exciting experience, but something even more exciting was graduating to the next annual. Sugra is for the infant classes, containing simple activities such as colouring, spot the difference, colouring, tracing, and colouring. But when you reach first and second class, it's time to graduate to Spree. It isn't a major upgrade, but there are some slightly more advanced games and terrible jokes. One of the key differences is the introduction of quizzes, and I'm not afraid to admit that I'm struggling with these. Sheem says leaving a bad first impression, as the front cover illustration shows Santa flossing with the elves and reindeer. Hi, I'd like to return my order. The cover almost made me not want to celebrate Christmas anymore, but if we glance over that, Sheemsa features some profiles of real-life heroes, which is actually a pretty neat idea. And there's an article about the existence of Bigfoot, better again. But Sheemsa has nothing on Sunus, the most advanced Christmas annual by a huge margin, aimed at 5th and 6th class. This is a significant step up from colouring and spot the difference. It features content that I studied in Leaving Cert History, along with philosopher quotes and an extract about the impact of single-use plastics on the environment. Folans really knows how to spread Christmas cheer. Looking through this year's Christmas annuals from reminds me of childhood. But if you want to go on a real nostalgia trip, then I have got you covered. Primary school was a simpler time, back when I needed to save up 5 euro for a Christmas annual, as opposed to paying thousands for student accommodation. In my latest video, I said that the Late Late Toy Show marks the official start of the Christmas season for many Irish people. But for me, Christmas started when Folan's annuals were delivered to my school. These annuals were convenient for everybody, as the students would get excited to tear into some colouring and read the worst jokes ever written, and the teachers could let the kids take them out during class when they didn't feel like teaching. Looking back on some of my old annuals, they're not as great as I remember, but I can understand why kids would enjoy them. Christmas was a way more exciting time back then, and I feel like the magic of the holiday season started to wear off as I finished primary school. If you ask me, I think they should make Christmas annuals for secondary school and college students. For some reason, I couldn't remember anything from my old annuals before I dug them up, except for one thing from the 2008 Chimsa. Pig Latin. Take the first consonant of a word, move it to the end and add A. And congratulations, you just learned a new language. I'm not sure if being able to speak Pig Latin officially qualifies you as bilingual, but I'm getting pretty good at it. My sister's 2011 Shimsa features a picture of a doll Aaron meeting for some reason. The highlight of Folan's Christmas annuals for me personally was the jokes, and in retrospect, I don't know why. I always skip straight to the joke sections first in every annual, but now I'm struggling to find one that's even remotely funny. There's a greater chance of me laughing at Mrs. Bronze Boys. Why was the rabbit so unhappy? She was having a bad hair day. How does Jack Frost travel? By icicle. I'm not even going to read this joke out loud. What part of a GEA ground never stays the same? 
The changing rooms. Whoever came up with these jokes, I just want to talk. Sunless annuals are nowhere near as fun as Shimsa, Spree and Sugra, focusing more on information than activities. Nothing says Christmas quite like the Lincoln Jail Escape of 1919. Browsing through these annuals objectively is nothing special as a college student, but the nostalgic memories of receiving them in primary school is something shared by a lot of people around the country. Follins is aware of this, so they publish a collection of old covers from every annual dating back to the 70s. It's pretty interesting to see how different the front covers were back then. The art style is very different, and there's a variety variety of characters like elephants, witches, leprechauns, snowmen, gollywogs. Old covers of the Christmas annuals are very problematic and they're a sign of the times. I'll take Santa flossing over gollywog any day of the week. Thankfully, these old covers have been left in the past and there's no other controversies to worry about. I'm getting these images from an article on the journal.ie and I'm curious to check out the comments. I know that's never a good idea because journal.ie comment sections are fucking war zones, but there's no way these people can get political about primary school Christmas annuals. The founder of the company was a Nazi collaborator. Let's go back to talking about the toy show. I wasn't expecting a video about Christmas annuals to go down such a crazy direction, but in all fairness, none of this reflects the work of Folans Ireland in 2019. They actually publish videos on their YouTube channel advertising their annuals, and they look like they were made in Go Animate with royalty free music and sound effects. This bollocks Santa Claus promotes the content of the Christmas annuals, including quizzes, jokes, activities, and recipes, the real reason why people get these books. And you get a free pen or pencil with every annual. I'll take 20. One thing I learned from this video is that thousands of annuals are donated to children in hospitals all over the country at Christmas time, which I think is a brilliant initiative. Folan's Christmas annuals are one of the greatest parts of Christmas in primary school, and the fact that they can spread that magic to a sick child during the Christmas season is incredible. I think it's safe to say that my fondness for the Christmas annuals is 100% nostalgia, because I don't exactly have much interest in doing any of these activities in 2019, but all of these annuals made the build up to Christmas even more fun when I was younger, and they continue to do so for today's generation of kids. Christmas is such a great time in primary school. Between the mortifying nativity plays, the annual shoebox appeal that makes an incredible difference for children living in poverty, and the simple joy of a box of annuals arriving in the classroom. And even though the magic of Christmas has since worn off for me, I can appreciate how Irish primary schools make it such an enjoyable time of year for the children. And Folan's Christmas annuals are a big part of that. Christmas time in Ireland is truly a wonderful thing, and I couldn't imagine celebrating Christmas anywhere else. And I know that this will be the best Christmas ever, because I have been a very good PKMX this year. That reminds me, I must get some snacks prepared for Santa, so I can stay on his good side. Plain digestives are all I have unfortunately, but I think Santa will definitely appreciate a dirty pint when he's working all night. I hope you don't mind that you're not getting anything for Christmas this year, because everything in Santa's sleigh is coming straight down my chimney. I'll just leave the front door open. Anyways, it's getting pretty late, so I better go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Well, today's the big day. If I don't get everything I asked for, I am going to fucking scream. I'll meet you downstairs. I told you I was good this year. So it looks like I definitely got on the nicest this year. We can check out these presents together because I know you didn't get jack shit. This is already shaping up to be the best Christmas of my life, but I hope you got the rest of my order right. Well, it's exactly what I asked for, and these presents are fantastic and everything, but it looks like you forgot my Minecraft game guide. Again. Wait a minute. Fuck you, Santa!
I knew you before you were born. Every time! Have you paid your TV license? I really shouldn't have sold my kidney for those tickets. So I am going to become a real man by completing this challenge. You know, what could possibly go wrong? My name is Matt, but my friends call me King of Sex. Well, they actually call me King of the Virgins, but you get what I'm saying.